Here we are at the exhibit floor of Plant and Animal Genome, and the question is, what's new with genetic analysis? Chris, I'm curious, what is new and interesting here at Plant and Animal Genome? Uh, well, this year we're showcasing the Iron Proton and Iron Chef instrument for next generation sequencing. Uh, but particularly, we've got an emphasis on AmpaSeq Any Genome, which is our technology for targeted resequencing in, in any species you're interested in. Any? Any species. Well, the idea is that we're evolving the AmpaSeq technology from its predecessor version, which was for human and mouse. And we've now released it as part of our AmpaSeq designer for essentially any targeted genome you want to use. So we have a number of uh, high quality reference genomes for model organisms in animal and plant, but also the option to upload a custom reference for any species that you're interested in. So tell me, have there been some unusual requests here? Unusual requests? We haven't had many unusual requests. I think we've had a lot of interest in the bovine side of things oh. um, and also in key uh, agricultural crops. Um, in my region, in Asia Pacific, we see a lot of interest in, in the cattle side of things too. So I think that's where the main interest lies in the minute. Yes. And since, how do I say, there's been a lot of interest in cattle here in the Americas and in throughout Europe. What can you share with me with regard to interest in APJ? Is it unique and different in some ways? I think there's some overlaps for sure. Um, a lot of people are interested in the same kind of applications like parentage testing, mm -hmm. uh, inherited diseases. Um, so there's definitely an overlap, just small variations in the actual breeds of animals that people are interested in. Due to climate, due to particular diseases, that kind of thing? Yeah, exactly, exactly. People have their own sets of markers that they want to include in a new panel. So we can help them design a panel for that and then help them work it out. Yeah, and the AmpliSeq lends itself to great flexibility, right? Absolutely. So the re reason we like AmpliSeq so much is that it's really flexible in terms of the number of targets that you can look at. Anything from, say, around 100 targets to many thousands of targets in a single reaction. And also we can multiplex samples onto the chip. So the iron torrent chip is really high throughput and allows us to really scale to the customer's needs. Yeah, and I understand you, we were just talking to somebody at the International Rice Research Institute sounded like they were doing a lot of work. Exactly, yeah. We've had a lot of work with Erie in the past. Um, they got some interesting projects in, in rice breeding. And we've also just done a, a recent pilot study with them to demonstrate the power of AmpaSeq technology in rice. Um, so we're very optimistic we can rep replicate that for the crops for the customers. That's great. Well, thank you for taking time today to speak with us. No problem. Thank you very much. Cheers.